Right, so today is the 1st of December and today was supposed to be the day when MIUI 14 along with Xiaomi 13 series devices was supposed to be launched. But something happened in China, I really haven't you know gone into the details. But uh, iQOO 11 series, Xiaomi 13 series, iQOO Neo 7 SE and a bunch of other devices and announcements from China were postponed. So whatever the reason is, uh, I'm pretty sure these will happen but that hasn't stopped us from digging and getting news for you guys as to how exciting and good MIUI 14 is going to be. Welcome to another new amazing video guys. My name is Kailash and you're watching Phone Ops. Today we're going to talk about what is leaked about MIUI 14. You know there's supposedly a change log that is leaked on Xiaomi UI. So stay tuned till the end of the video and before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Let's get going. Now let's see here. This will be more of a talking head video wherein I will be referring to this website and giving you information because it is relevant. Most of our devices that I use, you use will be getting this update and it will be very interesting to see what exactly is included. So what it does say over here is MIUI 14 changelog leaked super icons and all new features now i've already read a lot online that miui 14 is going to be lightweight it will allow you to uninstall system applications matter of fact uh, on telegram as well if you have a look let me just show you this so miui 14 changes will be lightweight firmware system memory usage optimization it specifically says that for china rom it's unfair right why don't global devices deserve this anyways Pre-installed software uninstall optimization. Now, let me tell you when enhanced MIUI 12.5 was released, a lot of these things were promised then as well that you'll be able to uninstall system apps, uh, atomic memory, this, that, and nothing really happened. I understand MIUI 13 is good, but let's hope MIUI 14 is better. So if we further move, a picture of uh, Xiaomi 13 series has been le leaked and MIUI changelog China update. Now, this is the highlighting part. MIUI uses less memory now, keeps being swift and responsive over much extended periods. I really, really expect this to happen because Android 13 as a whole has taken a huge leap. I've used Android 13 on the Pixel series. I've used it on the iQOO series. I've used it on the iQOO Neo 6 as well. And now I tried it on the B 11 X as well. And from all the custom syncs, you know, skins that I've seen with Android 13, the experience has been better. So I really hope this does matter. And necessarily, this is not MIUI 14 feature. This is what Android 13 is doing. Anyways, improved system architecture comprehensively boosts boosts the performance of both pre-installed and third-party apps while saving power. Again, if you are going to look for this from a Xiaomi 13 point of view, you will find that, okay, wow, this is amazing. But understand the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and MIUI 14 along with Android 13, very capable of doing this. If this is seen on older devices like Mi 11X, Poco X3 Pro, Redmi K20 Pro is retired, but yeah, Redmi Note 10 Pro, you know, recent device. If these things are observed on those devices, I would give Xiaomi team a thumbs up. Anyways, then we have attention to detail redefines personalization and brings it to a new level. We've seen that there'll be now, you know, some more super wallpapers and more customization. Now, how do they plan to keep it simple, lightweight and highly customizable? It will be interesting to see. Apart from this, more than 30 scenes now support end-to-end -end privacy with no data stored in the cloud and all actions performed locally on the device. Now, one, this needs hardware support. So again, you know, the Xiaomi 13 series will come into the picture. Two, Xiaomi has been known to breach your data. Yeah, I... I can't really say much about that because we've had a lot of videos about data leak from Xiaomi and Xiaomi servers pinging and taking your location and all that stuff. So can't really say much, but if they are processing stuff locally on the device, uh, well, let's try to trust them is what I can say. MI Smart Hub gets a significant revamp, works much faster and supports more devices. Again, this will be relevant when MI Smart Hub comes to global devices. This is more of a China thing. For now, doesn't really make a difference. Family services allow sharing all essential things and people you care about the most. Ring a bell, Apple devices. I really hope it's 
somewhat similar to that okay personalization section now this is going to be a slightly long video but i need to explain these things because now you can get a little bored and understand what to expect and then when the final product is delivered we will see what exactly they delivered upon so new widget formats allow more combinations i think they're talking about the mii 13 widget style they're bringing it to the global market and calling it mii 14 style and i'm not a xiaomi hater i have three devices want a plant or pet always wait you on your home screen okay mio has lots of them to offer now so we're gonna have pets on wallpapers now amazing uh attention to details super icons will give your home screen a new look update home screen and themes to the latest version okay super icons is something that they're introducing nice home screen folders with highlight the apps you need most making them just one tap away from you privacy very very important for xiaomi users you can press and hold the text on gallery image to instantly recognize it now yeah apple did that google did that now finally mio is doing it live subtitles on used device speech to text again available since android 12 Family services allow sharing all the essential things with people you care about the most, creating groups, share photo albums, set, okay, TV. So this is more of a continuation thing. Like at home, if you have a Xiaomi TV, a Xiaomi phone, a Xiaomi tablet, Xiaomi earbuds, I don't know if they have a Xiaomi smart speaker. So if you have all of those, then they'll be interconnected and stuff. I don't see many people doing that in India because uh, most of the devices are not available over here right so am i ai voice assistant we are completely going to skip this because it's not available outside of china so it's not relevant to us and yeah that's about it that's where it comes to an end there is a leaked video by xiaomi ui let's quickly have a look at it of uh, xiaomi 13 doing its rounds with android 13 and mi 14 so yeah this is the xiaomi 13 here and uh, uh, it's loading yeah, it pretty much looks like MIA 13. Don't tell me this is MIA 14. Oh, it is MIA 14. So from the looks of it, it looks pretty similar, but under the hood is what they're promising the changes are. And there's a list of devices which I've already shared as a video, which will be get, getting MIA 14. Now, what is my take on this? My take is pretty straightforward. Most of the features are from Android 12 and Android 13. It's at least good that they are including them now rather than later, right? And there is nothing absolutely new that I experience. I mean, there'll be new colors, super icons, wallpapers and stuff. But what matters for me the most is give decent performance to old devices. That is very, very critical. I'm not saying if a device like Poco X3 Pro, which scored, I don't know how much, 600,000 two years back, it should sc score 600. Let it be at 570, 580. Don't bog the devices down. Make your updates in a way that old devices can survive. That's it from me for this video. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about MIUI 14 and the same video will be available in Hindi on our Hindi channel. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.